Hello all, uh, my name is Shahji Parmeshwar Kharat and I am going to teach you the material synthesis processing and application course in this semester. So we will try to take this course as per the syllabus and all the course will be on the online platform. Okay. So first of all we will see the syllabus of this course. So in this course there will be, uh, there will be 4 credits and number of lectures will be 48 lectures plus 12 assignments plus quizzes are there so 12 uh, you can say some assignments may be there some quizzes may be there and in total we will conduct 12 such uh, you can say beside these 48 classes we can conduct these 12 lectures we can say in first unit it has you can say the name of the first unit is diffusion in solids so overall in this unit we are going to study diffusion in the solids so here we will study mechanism of the diffusion then the fixed first law of diffusion second law of diffusion and we will solve the uh, problems based on this second law of diffusion then we will study atomic model of diffusion which is one of the important model lastly we will see some carburization and decarburization techniques which is also one of the most important you can say techniques which need which we need to study uh, then in the second unit we are going to study some material synthesis methods so where we will study different material synthesis concepts uh, then uh, in that material synthesis process we will see concepts of the equilibrium non-equilibrium processing and their importance in the material science then we will study some metallic and non-metallic material synthesis processes wherein we will study the ceramics, let's say magnetic, let's say uh, other different types of material synthesis processes and we will also study basic concepts of the powder technologies. I think you have studied basic concepts of the powder diffraction, uh, you can say powder uh, technology and uh, we will go in a little bit uh, deeper in that and also we will study different you can say uh, we will solve different problems based on that uh, all you can say concepts one by one in the third unit the third unit is material processing here we will study different techniques like quenching then glass formation flat quenching different types of quenching then processing of, of the surface layers of the solids where we will study ion beam processing so different material processing we will study in this uh, you can say uh, topic so where uh, in this unit we will also see different uh, 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 methods like sputter and chemical vapor, vapor deposition techniques so all these methods we will see in detail one by one then in the next unit that is applications of the material so whatever we have studied up till now that will be useful only if we know the applications of these materials so here we will study basic applications like magnetic materials then in that magnetic materials we will study different you can say here also we will study a little bit theory of ferromagnetic materials magnetic domains hysteresis and all these things and we will also study the high TC materials or giant magneto resistance materials also we will study piezoelectric and ferroelectric materials in the in this uh, you can say unit so if these materials are transferred from bulk to the nanomaterials then the properties of the material will change and these properties how these properties will change that we will see in the you can say at last we will see that thing so overall reference books for this course courses are this so uh, I will um, mostly use first two references that is elements of material science and engineering that is fifth edition from Lawrence Van Flack and material science and engineering that is uh, from V. Raghavan and I will also refer uh, other references uh, let's say this is the third reference then all out of these eight references these are the uh, total eight references out of these eight references I will refer few of these references whenever I need these references but due to this uh, you can say if these references are not available with you don't worry 
so i will uh, initially i will take majority of part from these first two references and whenever uh, you can say other references are required i will provide notes from that references so you need not to worry so uh, so these are this this is all about our first lecture thank you all